Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm back with the throwback favorites. So I'm going to talk about some makeup favorites that I had a year ago, so in September of 2018. And I talked a little bit about some skincare products in my video as well, I will leave it up here. And just a little side note, the makeup I had, I really loved that eye look, so I I think I will try to figure out what I had used because it looks really good. I talked about some skincare things as well but it's like only one of the skincare things I still use and that is a lip scrub from Jeffree Star. Still like it, haven't found any better lip scrub so yeah. But then I am going to talk about the makeup products I talked about. And I don't know if I'm going to talk about them in the same order, I don't think so, but maybe. I talked about three base products, we can start with the first one. I talked about the TK Mineral Powder Foundation, powder mineral foundation, mineral powder foundation. This I still use, I bought a new one. This one I use when I don't want to put on makeup but I want something. I love this so much and usually when I am out like traveling or I visit my parents I usually take this one because it feels it's something and you look really good and it's very comfortable to have on but it's not like cake face and you don't have to you I only take this one I don't need any powders or anything or so yeah, still love this one and I talked in that favorite video that I was thinking about start to use this to work and I actually did for a while. Now I have stopped it again but I really had to have, I really like to have it at work and one of my colleagues she's like have you done something new and I was like yeah I'm wearing a foundation. So I actually got her to buy this foundation. So yeah, I still love this one because I have bought it again. Then I talked about a combo and it is this one. The No Filter Concealer from Colourpop and the Infinity Powder, Infinity Filter Loose Setting Powder from Linda Holberg. And I said that I loved these two together. Now, I do not. As you see, this is not... I am down here. <laughs> and that was a year ago, so maybe I should throw this away. I don't like this because I think it's too thick. I have noticed that I like under eyes concealers that are not so thick. This is super thick. I don't like this one. I have used it to cut my crease but I like to cut my crease with a glitter glue and not this one. And the most annoying thing with this, I have a backup of it somewhere. I didn't find it now. Don't like this. It's too thick. I don't like it on my eyes. And the other one was the Infinite Filter and this one I I can't use it on my whole face because it darkens down my foundation but I use it to set my under eyes and I really like it. It's smooth, smoothing? It looks smooth. It is a good one. It doesn't darken down my concealer so Maybe a little bit, but it doesn't matter because I don't like to have this super bright under eyes. So this I still really like and I am thinking about buying a new one when this is empty. But because I only use it underneath my eyes, I don't use that much. So this one I have found my way back to. But I have noted it's depending on so much which concealer I have. And right now I have one from H&M. It works so good with the one from H&M. So yeah, I like it. I only wish that they would come with a translucent one. This is light, so it has a little bit color, but I really, really, really hope that they can come with one translucent one. Then I also talked about uh, <laughs> eyeshadow palette, and I don't like this eyeshadow palette anymore. It is the Blossom palette from Blush Tribe. I said that this, I love this so much and if you buy it you will not regret it and right there and then I thought that but now I have used this even more. I have tried other things from Brush Tribe and I have tried 
other things, colorful things, because a year ago I just started to use colors more and it looks like this. It is not a good palette, I don't think it's even available anymore. Some of the colors are really really good, like this clover is really good and this rose one and this one, but some of them are like ne, like this. Not good. So this I don't like. I ranked it as my bottom blushum, blushum, blush try palette. So maybe that says a lot. Not my favorite. Wouldn't recommend it. And I can't because I don't think you can buy it anymore. I like the front though. And I like the size of it. But the colors. I don't like all of them. But it was a good beginner palette. Here we can say. Then I talked about a brush that I have just found and that I loved and it is the V5 blending brush from BH Cosmetics and I said in that video that I, I don't remember if I said that I was going to buy more or if I said that I had buy more, but I have. I have four of these now and this is my absolute favorite blending brush of all times. I have talked about this brush so so many times, I use it like with every makeup I do, I love these. These are vegan, these are cheap and they are so good quality, they have, haven't lost any bristles at all and they still, I don't know if you can see, the shape is still really really good and they perform as good as they did when they were new. And then the last favorite and I think this was so fun to hear me say. I had found a new favorite lipstick and it was the Lipstick Love Life from Colourpop. This is a red one and I was like, I like to use colors on my lips but I'm a little bit afraid and insecure about red. A lot has happened in the year. I still love this. This is one of my favorite red lippies. And as you know, if you have been here for just a little while, I love red lips. Red lips is like my thing. I've done some videos with red lips and I just feel so myself in red lips. I really really love red lips. I live what? I really love red lips and I am so happy that I bought this one and start to use it because I think this was one of the red lips that really made me go into red lips so this is still a favorite one year later one of my absolute favorite so yeah that was all for my throwback favorites from a year ago i think it's so fun to see what i feel about the products now like the red lips i love red lips now and the blossom palette that i really loved a year ago i i haven't used it that much since then me and Jessica did a face-off, haven't used it much after that face-off and that says a lot. And it's fun to see how you change and I think it's especially fun for me because I don't feel that I am the same person makeup-wise that I was a year ago because a lot has happened this year, both with what I like and how I experiment with makeup that I didn't do a year. A year ago so I think this is really fun and I really hope you like this throwback favorites so yeah I'm going to end this video now because I want to keep it pretty short so I really hope you like this and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one bye